Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at audiblepodcast.com slash Sorgatron Media. Over 75,000 titles to choose from for your iPod, iPhone, or MP3 player. All right, yo, this is Tom O'Reilly Reed, a.k.a. Toa from American Gladiators, and you are listening to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Wrestling Mayhem Show dot com. It's the best day of the week. Today is the day that you have chosen to listen to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. This is DJ Lunchbox putting it the fuck down for you. Let's fucking do this. Monday night, you know it must be raw. Lead is being a whore and not wearing a bra. Seen his damn belt still spinning around his waist. I can ship at a rhyme, so what comes out of his face? Tuesday night, and it's EC Dub. Michael Q. Knoxville joined the club. If you think of the shit, scream out, Who, who? The same EC Dub, and we can tell that too. Wednesday night, ROH on DVD, the best wrestling on the planet to the nth degree. Joe Damon's delirious, Daniel City, Kim Mikati, Homicide, The Rock, Wild Zane, Cancer Kobashi. Thursday night, TNA on Spike. Bruce is spoken, so that means I'm puking blood tonight. Shut up and show me the damn X Division and get SoCal Balance in my line of vision. Friday night, SmackDown, this is all life. Kicking back, watching wrestling every night. Kenny, Boogeyman, Helms, Hardy, Guerrero, London, Kendrick, and Steel and Show. RWF Sion in the weekly features. You're a student, we are the teachers. Shout out to Jimbo's crew and to the D's. Putting it down for a villain with the grace of ease. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show 226. We're glad yeah. you joined us. Yay! I'm Sorgatron. <laughs> I'm here uh, as usual because I've been here for a while. But also <laughs> here, we're right back to what we've been doing. There's no Doc Remedy, no Mayhem Missy this week, but they might be coming in the future. Uh, what's going on? <laughs> what's Wrestle going fans, on? Why do you have house moving, moving furniture? <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, say hi to your mom for me. Uh, up but, in the left two block is. Uh, I, I almost read the name on your Skype instead of your show name. <laughs> DJ Lunchbox, how are you doing? Not the name I can't what read is, that. <laughs> what is what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is the one and only DJ Lunchbox coming to you live from my Arctic Observatory uh, up here in, you know, the Arctic. Um, Where's cold? I'm uh, you making are the, moves. You're making obviously... moves. It's not cold enough. I got a fan fucking air conditioning. Keep it warm. Not cold enough. Is what it is. It's not what it's what it is. It's, it's all right because you it's, look like you're the fastest uh, yeah. box alive. <laughs> that is WrestleFan's That's mother, true. sir. I am. I oh, am whoa. the fastest box alive. Yeah. Fantastic. And then the Rock in the Shades this week. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> this oh, Mad shit. Mike, how you doing? Uh, sir, I, I will now be known as Dashing Mad Mike, and I want to say Happy <laughs> fucking birthday, America. It's belated, but we love you. That's right. This is the Patriarch Edition. And Even though you're wearing sunglasses indoors. And my on... future is so bright, Wrestle Fan, I have to wear fucking shades, all right? <laughs> and on the bottom is the Wrestle Fan, fresh off Whee! his trip to the contiguous Northeast United Can- States. Contiguous? <laughs> Yeah, sure. You know, you didn't go out to the islands or nothing, right? Um, anyways, <laughs> he didn't come see me because Russell <laughs> Fan is a fuck up. Because I don't control my schedule, Mike. You could have told I control my schedule, motherfucker. <laughs> I would have made sure. I just randomly came up and said, "Hey, it's Russell Fan." And then Hi, my, Mrs. Russell Fan. And then my and mom would friend. probably freaked out and run right away, like, "Oh, because we were in New York City." <laughs> Well, it's not like I would have had my mugging attire on. No, that's only for that's only for Thursdays. As sweet as the day is long, we (laughs) had many wonderful times together while she was up here. We did. You hear that, Mike? uh, (laughs) We went out and we smoked cigarettes. We made passionate love on the roof of Sorgatron's house. Half of that is true. It was a wonderful time. That's right. Because we know DJ Lunchbox doesn't smoke anymore. (laughs) (laughs) I apologize. Whoa, SJK out of nowhere. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry about that. that. No reason is the button above them. But anyways, thank you for joining us again. Wrestling Mayhem show, of course. Iron glare. (laughs) (laughs) We should be wearing sunglasses. Of course, if you found us by accident, please check us out. All the mayhem is over at Wrestling mayhemshow.com follow us on twitter we say things and it's all follow all of us we're all connected to the twitters on there as well uh please if you got anything to say about this show before after or during please hit it up at 
Good times, Good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. And also you can uh you can hear we can hear your voice or you can play us a song over at 412-206-WMS0. Good, I was putting the right number on Twitter Twitter today. You can play us a song about taking hoes to wrestling shows. Hoes to wrestling shows. Ho Yes. Um Tough guy. <laughs> Oh. Okay, moving on. Uh, and of course, uh, you please check out our Mayhem where we got a lot of fun stuff over there uh, for you to purchase and represent the Mayhem show. We don't make hardly anything off of that. So it's not really supporting the show other than the cool designs. Uh, and of course, Ever please to have Doc Remedy's face on your chest. That's what I really <laughs> need to. How you do it. I really need to get a few more faces up there. So it's not so weird that just his is. Um <laughs> yes, That's let's make it weirder said. by putting all of us. You up. know what? If you're if you're listening at Mayhem Show, tell us which Mayhem Earth's face you want on next. It can be this one right here, as if you don't see enough of it. Uh, this one's pretty nice. One of these three guys. We're gonna need definitely need a permission slip for the one on the bottom. Um, <laughs> just want to say right there. Okay, ne- never mind. I want DJ so, lunchboxes. So there's only one decision. It's the dashing mad. Mike. Oh jeez. Anyways, um, or you can also follow <laughs> us delicious.com/slash wrestling mayhem. All these links in the YouTube. Delicious. All the ways to find this show. Uh, Blue TV, YouTube, <laughs> yeah. iTunes is all over on wrestlingmayhemshow.com. And of course, check delicious. out our iPhone app. I took out our iPhone app where we post the dance parties <laughs> that have been occurring before, after, and in the middle of the show right there on your iPhone. Please, I, I if, you think, if you're one of those angry mayhemers without gold I on promise, you, uh... without gold on your Android device or BlackBerry, please send in a, a voicemail to the 412206WMS0, and we, I swear, I will, I will seriously pass this along the wizard. I know people this? over there. I want WMS on this. Yeah, that right there. That thing. That thing right I, there. I I want WMS on this, but I don't think that's possible. What is that? Make is it, it happen. Is that an LG? Is that what's going on there? Uh, it's an MV. I, I'm not in the oh, digital age. No, or... it's not. <laughs> the MV <laughs> is not digital. I got you. Yeah, I it's analog. You. It's it's, the... it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> fantastic uh but no you can check all that out in our little, little lady gaga dance parties there's a little bit of extra stuff there of uh of the the remedy i, I promise i promise a new song for next week's dance party <laughs> yeah can i yeah, make we, a request we did kind of we did, he does uh, not if i have it yeah the dj does party, not take party requests. in the usa oh, no. yes party oh fuck yes <laughs> yes <laughs> Awesome. 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 Next and of course, <laughs> we are week. of course Party in the USA. <laughs> we are going to be extending tonight our uh, our uh, guest host uh program uh reaching out to you if you're on the Skype beta and that's how we're doing this big thing, this multi-face thing. If you're on a PC and can get the Skype beta installed and working properly uh, and you're interested and you got the headphones and you got the video and uh you want to rock it uh, or, you know, we, we can kind of do it over the phone, too, if you want. We have that capability. Uh, hit us up at any of those contacts, and uh, Hot Wheels will be joining us, a longtime listener and good friend from the old IWC shows. Yeah. Uh, and we former... have to be careful because Sorg doesn't do well with midgets. That's right. I... <laughs> and we'll ask him. We'll ask him. <laughs> Uh, we'll ask them such hard-hitting questions like, how was it to be a foreign object uh, to be used against the Necro Butcher? Um, anyways. <laughs> and if he can get up to 88 miles an hour on a train track. There you go. <laughs> oh, this is going to be Or does he go into another dimension? This like, is uh, going to be fun. <laughs> like in South Park. Anyways, um, let's get... Fan- references right, damn it. Let's get right into the fan mail. Uh, let, LB, do you want to hit that first one up or shall I hit, hit the res mail? Oh! I'll take, I'll take care of it, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> he wants to hit it. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. <laughs> but actually, before you Musical. before you get off get off there, get off on that. Whoa, oh, whoa. Look at that. I mean, look whoa. at I, I put it up here so you can see. It's a good email. But Yo, he does good. a lot of artwork, and there's the very patriotic artwork of his email this week, and he got a little preview of how long it's going to be. Um, but here we go. Go ahead, LB. That's your cue. Him. Happy belated Independence <laughs> Day, Wrestling Mayhem crew. My motherfucking laptop has been on the shits with a Z and three exclamation points. But as of now, it's official. 
I'm back, bitches! Again with the Z. Usually around this time, I'd shit on the promotion called TNA and WWE's PGS, but tonight, I want to go another route. In this era of the WWE, we are getting brand new faces. We are getting brand new faces are being promoted. More so than ever before. Right now, Nexus, Swagger, Miz, Sheamus, Kofi Kingston, McIntyre, Ziggler, Evan Bourne, and R-Truth are given the time to shine at some point or another. But what the fuck? Are you telling me that MVP, the most ballin' superstar in the WWE, is taking a backseat to Ziggler and McIntyre? Ziggler is okay at best. But damn, McIntyre is redandiculous. So, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. He's so shitty, they evicted him from the great old USA. Yeah. Well, I don't mind this new era of superstars, but what the fuck? WWE, what happened to the superstar in your superstars? Eddie Guerrero was a motherfucking superstar. Eddie was the king of SmackDown. Charismatic, hilarious, and a perfect wrestler. Whatever he said or did affected the entire WWE universe. Remember a man named Shawn Michaels, HBK? was the fucking man. He was an asshole who was so entertaining that his career was cemented into legendary status. Triple H 2000 was the gold. He was funny, and he had the best feuds. Triple H was the heel, was the heel that every face tried to put out. Hmm. What I'm not trying to say is that the older stars are way better than the new school, but that the older wrestlers were able to fail before they could find gold. Let's be honest. WWE should not have a minor league promotion like FCW. Let's the new school have the advantage of the legends. Give the kids a chance to roam the world and perfect their craft. OBW and FCW allow WWE to, WWE to stereotype their own type of wrestlers, which is why they are as stale as they are. What? The fuck, WWE. What the fuck made you think training your own stars would be a good idea? All we, we all know WWE is 10 years behind in pop culture and 20 years behind in common motherfucking sense. It's bad enough you banned fan choking and <laughs> great wrestling on Raw, but stop training your own stars, please. That goes double for the divas. <laughs> but, um, the um fuck? Can, I, can I make a point? WWE. Oh, here, hey, our video really went. quickly. Can yes. I make a point here really quickly? Yeah. Brian Danielson came up through WWE developmental. Yes. That's true, but he wasn't tra but he wasn't trained by WWE specifically. He was, he was well, partially no. trained by them. He was and trained toward their, their style. All, their star all uh, 99% of WWE's talent comes from some indie somewhere. Yeah, nobody's Brian really Dickinson trained from the ground up by WWE. Exposure. You know, it, it it just matters at what point uh, they they pick them up. You know, somebody like Danielson or or low key, you know, haven't. I mean, they've been kind of uh, uh shown the okay, you know, this this is how we do things, as opposed to like the people you see on Tough Enough or most of the talent I I'd say you see on. <laughs> On NXT, oh, okay. it might be a little bit more younger in their career and a little bit more moldable. Uh, by the way, LB, your video went a, a little bit ago. Uh, I don't know if it's something on your end there. Oh, I'll uh, I'll check it out in a minute. All right. Here. Anyways, um, what the fuck, WWE? Who gives a shit about the did you know facts? I'm sorry, man, but those are those are Dude, fucking I, awesome. I, I think right? they're great. I think they're a great mm. point of like, look, this is what we're doing. I'm a big fan of them. Mm -hmm. uh, did they Did they know no one gives a shit about their shitty accomplishments? How about wrestling-related facts? Or how many world champions in WWE who have never won a Rumble? Or how many <laughs> times an IC or US champion has gone over beca to become WWE or world champion? Or even better, how many Negroes in the WWE were given non-racist gimmicks, gotten over with the crowd, and won a championship? True. Sure. Do I said true. Oh, true. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, WWE? If I see the same video clip shown more than once on WWE TV, I'm a go I'm a got to Vince's house <laughs> and whoop his ass like he was a Negro caught by Whitney trying to run. Whoa, oh, I'm sorry. Geez. Whitey, not Whitney. Whitey trying to run from the plantation. <laughs> Thanks for the reading and continue to be funny. The fetus, wrestle <gasps> fan, the Dawn, Sorgatron, the Pimp, LB, and the mean Mad Mike. 
Oh boy. Uh, did you read? Did you read the, his his uh, comment in the chat room? Anybody? I I I'd miss if it came. Uh, in. I didn't catch uh, it. Wolf's kind of saying a little bit more. Uh, he's I saying, get... uh, but I, I get what you're saying, Mike. What I'm trying to get at is uh, the WWE is not really allowed individuality. Which, oh. yeah, that was my big problem with NXT uh, the first go around. Because and you notice it now with everybody in there. Uh, they're all now that Danielson's out of the picture. Uh, they're all the same build. They're like a carbon, you know, a, a carbon print of WWE yeah. ideal guys, right? Yeah, there. it's like there's what? like four mid card mm-hmm. guys that are the same, like cocky, like uh, I don't know what the word is, the but heels. Difference... Where it's like D- Dolph Ziggler, Zack Ryder, Miz. They're all yeah. pretty much the same, yeah, character. Exactly. And just you know, I, I mean, I think there's a little bit more variety with NXT. Unfortunately, I'm not watched as much of uh, this this season of NXT as as I would have liked. Uh, but it really does seem like there is a more toss up and 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 individuality. You know, at least a, a variety of people. You know, I'm not confusing people as easily because they all have the same chesticles. You know what I mean? I mean, chesticles. that's what it comes down to. <laughs> Everybody's got the same chesticles. <laughs> Anyways, go back to that email. Help me. Uh, that's it with yeah. email. Oh, was that it? Yeah, I thought that was it. Yeah, yes. sorry. When, sorry? You, when you said uh, his chat, his comment in the chat, I thought you meant fuck cell phones. That's what my woman is for. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I, I I didn't see that. Um. Anyways, um. Uh. There's other. Um. Yes. Um, there's a Riz mail. Yes, I, I'm trying to find it. Kind of threw me off a little bit. I can run through it real quickly. Uh, if you want, because I'm having some trouble. Okay, cool. WMS. First off, let me just say that two weeks ago was awesome and can't wait until you guys ask me back. Honestly, <laughs> hint, hint. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, wasn't, Mike, he, on the, really? wasn't he on the Butterbean it's okay. episode? It's okay. I, I told Riz I was going to make that joke. Was it, yeah. He was on the Butterbean episode, right? Uh, to me, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he shared he shared the yeah, episode I, with SJK and uh and Butterbean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's where we put you, man. And, and te- technically, they opened for Riz. <laughs> <laughs> this wow. is true. Whoa. This is true. Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> Honestly, I thought it was going to be a train wreck and mayhemish, <laughs> but hell, was I proven right? But it was an awesome train wreck. I was. Going to do an email last week, but I had to focus on some tests. Don't worry, they came out negative. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, technically, Riz, that's either a good thing or a bad thing. High five. <laughs> High five. Right there. Bam, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Anyways, this week in wrestling food, one thing. Arn Anderson doesn't like empty buttholes. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I didn't watch Raw. Oh, damn. So, Damn, he stole what I learned in wrestling this week. <laughs> How can you? I mean, Art Anderson was like that butthole line was. What was the exact line? Does anybody recall? Uh, I I I think he, about, I was think he was meant to say stomping mud holes. Mud holes. <laughs> Anyways, carry on. Other than that, I got nothing. I didn't watch SmackDown. My eyes are still burning from trying to figure out what TNA is doing, and I haven't been catching up on Wrestlelicious. Which I will start back up in the next couple of weeks due to the fact baby. that due to the fact that I now know someone personally in the wrestlelicious realm. Oh, you gotta mm. fill that in. You got you gotta fill us in on what's going on there. T D S Riz T D S. So until next time, the question mark head himself, Riz. Question mark head. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right, and aside from that, we have oh, let me before we get to this fan mail, we have the Rema Riddle. He did send it Rema to Riddle. us. Now, uh, this was this was such a letdown. What was the question? Was... What was the question? Um, John, it was, I was the only one who tried to answer it. It was John Cena has one, Jack Swagger has two, and Triple H has none. Yes, and the and, answer and... is. Steroid violations. CM Punk's cock. <laughs> the letter A. Yeah. Wow. And that's why Doc Remedy isn't on this week because we killed him because of the lameness of that Rema Riddle. Jesus Remedy. What are we, Sesame Street? 
<laughs> yeah, seriously. It was from WWE Kids. The Come on. I mean, I the thought, mayhem thought, is not brought to you by. Okay. I thought it was pretty clever. Right, I thought go. it was good. I, I, it was good. It's like it? those things. It's All like, right. no, 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 no. Because oh, I, I hate You're those going. damn things. Because I, I read no. the, uh, and Mayhem Messi can vouch for me for that because I was reading the WWE Kids magazine on the way back from Cleveland. And those things pissed me off. But one of them was uh, uh, Cody Rhodes was born on such and such 1985. How many birthdays has he had? One. One. It's for kids. Can they separate the- Because there was a space. Off. It makes me want to find the guy that wrote that joke. Go to his house and stab him in the face. Mike, help us out on that. Anyways, carrying on to the voicemail here. We gotta get to it. <laughs> Russell fan, thank you for thank you again for uh, for uh, pre-screening this. Uh, apparently, there's a really good story about after the Cleveland shows uh, from Big Freaky at uh, yeah, AIW you know, Chicago. You know, technically, week. Riz is right in the chat room. What? Triple H stands for Hunter Hearst Helmsley. That oh, has an A in it. Oh, come on. Anyway, it does. Anyway, it I'm does sort of eat. Because I'm starving, because all I've had during the four-hour car show to eat is, like, gummy worms and, you know, a Mahomes bar. And I see everybody's favorite slightly awkward mutant teenager. Russell fan? Steve the Turtle Winner. Steve the Turtle Winner. You know, he's flagging me down. Whoa. (laughs) Whoa. And he needs a ride to the airport. Except he doesn't know where it is. So, we pass it on the 25, way? about 20, 25 minutes and several, you know, turnarounds later, mm-hmm. I'm back Wait. to the show and as I'm, as I'm dropping him off, he says, hey, thanks a lot, man. I'll give you a free DVD next, you know, so. So which one would it be in your eyes? Would it be King of Trios Night One or King of Trios Night Two? What? Ooh. I think I missed. I'm, so, I'm confused so to when he was talking about the macaroni bar. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, some restaurant closed that sells macaroni. Oh, somebody's gonna call. Put him on the line. Oh, <laughs> Caller, you're on the air. Caller, you're on the air. You're on the. We, we got Mark from Buffalo, New York. Dot, <laughs> dot, dot. dot. <laughs> <laughs> so so big freaky now now uh, I, I realized we did mention last week we did, uh, just didn't cross our minds but yeah i finally met big freaky I, you and know I, let, let me, let me explain there is a reason he's called big freaky let me explain <laughs> for he's some huge. reason you know i get i get a you know i get an <laughs> idea what people what she said i get an idea what people look like in my head you know uh you know through the conversations through especially if they have voicemail I don't know, big freak. I still figured him to be an average size, like kind of skinny guy. No, I thought the like, name was like a. It's like you know, hey, you called someone. I uh, thought, I thought like, it's like but, when you call someone tiny and they're not really tiny. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was like big freaky, as in he's a he's like you know big in his freakiness. You know, not that he was big and freaky, which <laughs> more literal. <laughs> But no, I'm not as no, no, a bash or anything. Up, uh, no, but I mean, this is a relationship. No. Uh, but no. Steve the Turtle Whiner knows how to sell some fucking DVDs. There you go. There you go. He was at intermission and he was screaming, $10! $10 <laughs> for your DVD! And it was, oh my god. But, um, no. did, we, did we answer Freaky's question? Because I think he was asking us. He wants to know what uh, Chicago kind of... DVD to get. Okay. Um, I, I'd say King, King of Trios. Trios Night 1. Go Night 1, night yeah. One. Trios, yeah. Night 1 was night awesome. All of them. Yeah, well, that's like that's like uh, King Frown came up to me at that show, and it was like he had all three nights. He's like, so tell me, did I just ha- spend a good sixty dollars here for 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 a really good reason? I'm like, yes, dude, you will enjoy the whole thing. Don't worry about mm. it. So, what's up, Teddy Grams for the win? <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, Gummy Teddy worms Grams. for the win. Uh, Riz, no, Riz no, and Teddy Wolf. Grams are bullshit. Teddy you know Grams. where it's at? Dunkaroos. 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 Not, not, not the chocolate chip Teddy Grams. Oh fuck oh, you fuck. and your Dunkaroos. I will set your house on fire. I will come <laughs> and set the entire Bronx on fire. Teddy Grahams. Like you killed that. The Bronx is gonna burn. Yeah, 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 fucking chocolate yeah. Teddy Grahams. Chocolate fucking Teddy Grahams. No chocolate chip Teddy Grahams. Fuck you and your chocolate. chip Why do they put Teddy chocolate Grahams? chips in those Beep. things? They're so Beep. tiny. No. They're good. They're delicious. Oh, he's gonna get set on fire, and his name's gonna be Wrestle Fan. Okay. I anyways. Set my mic on fire. Somebody's gonna so he's, right. just like he's just gonna, gonna set my yeah, burrow on fire. No, just like you were gonna beat up that guy that was looking at us when we were on the trip to Cleveland. 
from his van. I still well, enjoy that voicemail. He didn't pull over. It's there. He just sees it. No, he just looks over us and we're screaming into uh, Lunchbox's phone for the voicemail. <laughs> awesome. He was giving well, us the stink eye. So I had to he was him. giving us the stink eye. Wrestle fan. His, Can we get I was it? going to pry his jaw off with a fucking tire iron. <laughs> Wrestle fan, can we get a quick indie minute from you, buddy? Indie minute. Uh, well, we all, we mentioned Chikara just a couple seconds ago. Yes, uh, Chikara, started. Uh, the big events coming up are uh, Chikara's uh, Chikara Source Rex King of Show, which honestly, from the way it's looking, looks like one of the best cards they honestly have ever put on. Um, they're doing a. It's a, basically a collaboration with um, Dragon Gate USA. Um, it's all pretty much not, most of the matches are Chikara versus uh, Dragon Gate. Uh, currently announced uh, recently was uh, Hollow Wicked, Jigsaw, and Lightning Mike Quackenbush taking on uh, the World One team of uh, Masato Yoshino, Naruki Doi, and uh, BB Hulk, which is sure to be you know an amazing matchup. Also, um, uh, um, other, other matches on the call, card, uh, Sarah Del Rey and Daisy Hayes against uh, Raish Saeed and Amazing Kong, uh, uh, Dragon Kid, Masaki Moshiku, and Sima taking on uh, Chuck Taylor, Icarus, and Akuma of Team Fist. The main event of Eddie Kingston, uh, Tommy Dreamer teaming to take on Aries and Claudio of the BDK. Uh, also recently announced on uh, one of their uh, on Chikara's YouTube page, um, stemming from the events that happened in uh, Cleveland, uh, another six man tag has been announced. It will be the unstable of uh, Vin Gerard, uh, Stigma, and Colin Delaney taking on the Osirian Portal uh, with their tag team partner of uh, CZW star uh, Drake Younger, which uh, that's sure to be an interesting uh, match. Also in the uh... <laughs> Also in uh, Chikara news, uh, be prepared for their Young Lions Cup tournament coming up. Many, many names uh, have already been announced for that tournament. Uh, looking at them right now on their feature page at ChikaraPro.com. Uh, Lindsay Dorado, Green Ant, uh, Sugar Dunkerton, uh, both of the uh, Osirian Portal. Uh, friend of the show, Johnny Gargano, has been added. Nice, nice. He had a great uh, match in Cleveland with Chikara. Mm-hmm. Looking, uh, I guess, I'm guessing he's going to be added to more Chikara shows uh, to come. Mm-hmm. Uh, Italy, Italy star Kayo, uh, a little known, uh, not much known about him. Uh, Adam Cole representing CZW, uh, and they've also announced a very um, other promotions that are actually going to have superstars represented at the Young Lions Cup uh, from Dragon Gate, uh, Evolve, uh, All Japan Pro Wrestling. AIW is going to have a representative. Uh, so, you know, that's something to really look out for, uh, for Chikara. The shows are August 27th, 28th, and 29th in Reading, Pennsylvania, where they will determine a new Young Lions Cup champion. And, uh, now to move on to, uh, stuff in, in the, uh, Pittsburgh area, uh, going to IWC <laughs> well, Wrestling. Well, actually, uh, it's up in Clearfield, so. Out in Clearfield. Um, it's about, well, pretty, it's like two hours, much, three yeah. hours away. It's kind of a drive. To be honest, <laughs> it's in Clearfield. It's a, it sounds like there's a cataclysm going. There's to a be cataclysm there, having. Wow. My favorite show for them to have a repeat sequel. Love the name. <laughs> the card actually does look. Dude, really, this is really a great good, card. I wish, I wish we were bringing a full video crew up for this. Uh, but I'll be uh, there. I'll be there. It's gonna be a solo camera. I, I apologize for the quality of two. Um, and uh but but yeah well if you don't mind me taking this because i'm kind of excited i actually haven't been keeping up on what's going on going on in iwc yeah. some stuff has changed uh sebastian um, yeah sebastian a local guy ah! out there whoa sorry phone's ringing again oh uh against superhead so in the ladder match uh another, another friend of the show jimmy demarco against bullen for the title uh Sh- shima zion versus lince dorado frightmare and low rider which oh, will be an sweet Jesus. Astonishing four way match. That Holy amazing. crap. Flippin' ain't easy with Facade and Jason Gore yeah, against Iris Airborne. Ever. Logan Shulo versus Oh, oh man. Oh. Come wow. on. Uh Logan Shulo versus Johnny Gargano in a no DQ match. Uh Shulo. Eric Lee Schwab, former formerly Eric Ecstasy and Chess Flexor against Justin Idol in a mystery. 
uh, Rick Chesney and Radford. Sweeney's going to be there. And the debut of Mike Sedell, the brother of Evan Bourne. You mean Mike Seidel? I don't know. Seidel? Is that what I said? It's Seidel. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Seidel. Let's so, of go, course, Seidel. Evan Bourne, you know, was in IWC several years ago, you know, as Matt Bourne. Or, I'm sorry, Matt Seidel. Yeah. Matt Bourne. That's, That's a different dude. Matt Bourne is someone very different. Very different. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I don't know if you guys mentioned. Sorry, I had to, um, to take care of something. Uh, Mike yeah, Seidel, he's recall. been doing a lot of stuff on the indies. He's uh, becoming a pretty well-known name as a... Uh, almost following in the footsteps of his brother. So uh, it should be interesting to see him in IWC. Yeah, it's really, you know, I think it's really cool to see IWC. Of course, they got Cage Fury. They got a lot of cool stuff coming up for Cage Fury that was announced like two months ago even. Um, but <laughs> The yeah. stuff has changed also for uh, Cage Fury. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I think it's kind of cool. interesting. Well, we'll kind of see where it all shakes after the show. I didn't want to get too much into it. You guys can all check yeah, that yeah. out, IWCWrestling.com. But IWC is really feels like 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 how we feel about Shakar and everything. <laughs> It's, it's where a lot of, like, the top indie talent is coming. Everybody bitches about, well, Samoa Joe's not coming in, and all these big guys aren't coming in. There's no names anymore. But it's like, but these guys, this, IWC is becoming the venue that these guys become the big, you know, become uh, names and are able to show off their stuff, you know. Which yeah, is and I think it's, I think it's, well, that, it's been a couple of years since, you, like, mm-hmm. like you mentioned, you've seen guys like on the Samoa Joe level. However, uh, a lot of new names, new big names have really emerged yeah. Ever since then, and that, and those are the people that are starting to make you know come more to uh, IWC. Look. Guys like Frightmare, who are you know, it's becoming a really big name on the independents, mm-hmm. not just in Chikara. Mm-hmm. And he's still a young guy. He's he's still yeah, a young and he's guy. yeah, he's pretty much in his rookie, you know. So I mean, this this is this is where this is where th- there's a reason we talk about IWC over these other guys because uh, you know we we you know we we try to stretch out and talk about more you know that are, that are outside our range a little bit, but I mean there's a reason why Russell Fan in Texas is 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 big on IWC you know mm-hmm. even though he's not even local you know there's a reason Mad Mike comes down for this stuff you know I mean there's uh, look at a card for for a, a group like this and look at the names that are all in WWE or TNA right now. You know, right. I mean, it's a. Sorry, it, uh, when is Cage Fury? I I don't know. Cage you know, Fury at is on, um, in the future. But <laughs> in the future, it's but my a, point, but my first. point is, like, look at a card from three, four years ago. It's a who's who's of wrestling right now, or or some, you know, it's a fine representation of that stuff. I've seen a lot of guys in IWC in the few years I've been going uh, that they're on the big, you know, the big time right now in some form or another. And it's, it, this is, you know, this is a good mark of an indie. I think you're going to see the same thing from Chikara. You have in the past, a lot of big names have come through there. Um, and that's, that's, that's what we look for. If you look for in indies, as far as that goes. Yeah. I think so. it speaks a lot of the people from Chikara, which is generally regarded as like maybe the number four promotion in the country mm-hmm. are coming to IWC. Yeah. Guys mm-hmm. like Frightmare mm-hmm. and Lindsay Dorado, because mm-hmm. I had never, seen or heard of Frightmare of Lince Dorado until we went to Chikara, but now knowing that they're going to be in IWC, mm-hmm. that kind of speaks volumes for them. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And I think I think Super Indie was a was a really good demonstration of this. We, we talked it up before. Uh, you know, the DVD's out there uh, for you guys to pick it up over on their website. But that was a nice 12-man tournament. IWC you know. that kind of. <laughs> um, for those that couldn't decipher that, that he said iwcwrestling.com thank you um but no i think it's a, it's a great representation of what they're doing up there so um was there anything else that's stick, st- sticking out to you guys uh i don't have pretty much anything else <laughs> Yeah. Hey. hey, hey, all right. On uh, that note, LD, hey, hey, hey. Did, did we want to get a quick to talk MMA like Italian shout out? Now. Hey. What's that? Did, did we want to get a quick MMA uh, shout out to our our buddy, Brock Lesnar? Our buddy. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I actually watched that fight today. I watched the entire fight today. That was a good fight. That oh, was a shit. really good fight. Yes. Like, I was, I was really Brock. impressed. I think Brock was as surprised as the rest of us that he won with a submission. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't a squash match like uh, like all the rest of uh, yeah, all yeah. The rest of Brock's and, matches have been. And and do we hear who uh, Brock's next opponent is going to be? Who? I didn't hear that. Brock Lesnar versus Kane Velasquez. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, see I, I see what you did there. there? I see there, what you did there. There's a joke that we're going to wear out. I'm sure. So. <laughs> um, I did have one. I, I hope move. I hope Kane becomes really like insane and thinks that he's fighting Brock Lesnar soon. Nice. 
<laughs> All right, guys. On that note, LB, what are we listening to? And we'll come right back with our with our special guest host for the evening. <clears throat> well, uh, I would like to kick things off by saying, um, if you are interested in hearing more of what me, DJ Lunchbox, is listening to, check me out at last.fm slash user slash DJ Lunchbox. And, uh, and first of all, I want library. Sure. I, I do want to apologize uh, that I apparently accidentally put the music way loud over you saying that last week. So it's put, <laughs> I put it out oh. on Twitter today when I noticed that. I apologize for that. That was a that was an that's, editing error on my part. It was so. like he overextended his speech at the Oscars. So if you want to find out more about me, you can find me out at. <laughs> it, it, was, it was really bad. I really apologize. I had a miscue on my editing at the levels. So lay me uh, off, Johnny. <laughs> no worry. <laughs> uh, once again, last.fm slash user slash DJ Lunchbox slash library, and you will know what's going on on my computer and phone, uh, musically anyway. Uh, this week we are uh, back to a little electro nonsense. Uh, the name of the band is called Baths uh, from their forthcoming album on Anticon Records, Cerulean. The name of the song is Maximalist. And this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Enjoy. Wrestling Mayhem Show at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. What's up, guys? I hope you enjoyed that break. Uh, of course, this is Wrestling Mayhem Show 226. I, you know what? That's not the first time. I keep wanting to say 266. I want to jump ahead for some reason. Anyway, something important is going to happen in that episode. Future. You watch the future. Uh, but in the present, we do have our sponsor, Audible.com. You can get a free audiobook, audiblepodcast.com slash Sorgatron Media. If you missed it last week, to demonstrate the potential of Audible, uh, one, uh, one doc remedy... 
uh, read us aloud. Orton reads a. Orton hears you. Who? <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm not doing it. And I missed it, really. But if you want a free audiobook, I think there might be some Dr. Seuss on there. AudiblePodcast.com slash Storytron Media. You get one free audio audiobook, 14 days to try a service. I've been playing around. I confess this on the awesome cast oh. earlier. I actually just signed up for Audible. I did the trial before. I've been listening to a lot of ones I've been getting other places. Um, but this is obviously the easiest way to get your Audible podcast. They all work on your iPhone devices. There's a new fancy app for the Android, unlike the WMS Gold. Uh, so you can at least support <laughs> us that way. Um, hey. There you go. You can get on Audible, Wrestle Fan. Uh, um, right now. So go, but of course, we like to do a pick for you. I lost my pick. So, uh, handing it over is to DJ Lunchbox, as he, he's, a, he's a big Audible guy and hates words. So, what, what, what do you have for the people? Hate words? I don't hate words. <laughs> he hates the written words. That? <laughs> I he love written man. words. I got bookshelf, big, right here. Boom. All right. No, that, that's uh, just for I the do, uh, but I do, But I do, I do love audio books as well. Uh, they're great when you're on the go, and uh, one of my favorites in my vast Audible library is I Was. Uh, Ooh. And Sorg, I think you should plug this on the Awesome Cast as well because I, it, I, it I'm ties in. It. I Was, W O Z, it is the autobiography of Steve Wozniak, written by Steve Wozniak and Gina Smith. Sadly, though, if you get the unabridged version, it is not narrated by, uh, by the Woz himself. But it is an absolutely fantastic book, a must listen to for any computer nerd out there. Uh, you learn about the, the very the 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 beginnings of computing in America, uh, how Apple came to be, Waz clears up a lot of rumors, um, speaks on his friend uh, Steve Jobs, who is uh, currently the CEO of Apple, and uh, talks about what a what a crazy life he's had. Um, he's done things that I had no idea about, didn't even know he was connected with. Uh, it's a great great read. I was uh, the unabridged version by Steve Wozniak and Gina Smith. Check it out. Go over to audible.com slash Sorgatron Media. Fantastic. And, of course, you might have noticed some something's different up there in the corner. Well, let's, let's, look, look at that guy. Who's this? Who's this? <laughs> uh, this, of course, is Hot Wheels from the chat Lead room. Lead the way! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Mike. One, of the first guys, have... one of the first guys I asked when we, we started thought, thinking about this little uh, uh, guest experiment, of course, uh, uh, you know, Hot Wheels in the chat room and everything. So, Wheels, how you doing tonight? Oh, I'm doing pretty good there, Sorgatron. Excellent. Good to be on the show. Excellent, excellent. Now, now, how long have you been listening? Uh, how long have I known you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I started going IWC in 2006, and yeah, so we'll, we'll go around there. Something like that, yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> That sounds that sounds good. So so how you doing? <laughs> uh, not too bad. Sweating to death. I mean, I'm in the Bahamas now, so. All right. See? We got... <laughs> yeah, it, it is. It looks like a sauna in there. Um, so so we have to ask. Of course, we've talked about it a lot on the show. Uh, you 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 were the the victim slash foreign object that got hurled at Necro Butcher. Uh, I think at last year's Super Indie, if I'm not mistaken, uh, by Jimmy DeMarco. Uh, did your life flash before your eyes, and were you disappointed? Uh, yeah, I, I was definitely surprised, but it doesn't <laughs> surprise me with Jimmy DeMarco. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> I, I actually didn't see where you went after that. You didn't run into, like, the, 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 the support or anything, did you? Well... If I wouldn't have put my hands down, I would have ran into the spotlight thing. Yeah, that's the the, the JBL lift they are, they have over there. Yeah, all, all I know is you disappeared behind <laughs> behind people, and I didn't see you again. <laughs> I felt like R two D two in Star Wars going backwards. <laughs> All I needed was that sound. Awesome, awesome. Well, we're gonna keep all you right. on here. Hold on, hold on. project oh, go, project go for someone on the Mayhem show. Find a video clip of Super Indie with Hot Wheels being pushed. It's on YouTube. And then insert that audio sound of RT. <laughs> if you do this, I swear, Mad Mike will give you every DVD he has for a prize. I promise you. <laughs> and he has a lot. I've seen him. All right, Wheels, we're going to keep you on uh, and, uh, you know, chime in wherever you want with the news and everything. Um, Not a problem. And as soon as I find my show notes... Uh, <laughs> 
LB, did, LB, did you want to attack any more of this MMA or? Uh... Well, yeah, we could talk a little, talk a little MMA. There's a little MMA fight. What do you think, punching? <laughs> <laughs> no sweaty dick punching. That is correct. Um, I just need a moment because my mouse died and I'm replacing batteries. Oh, oh no! There we are. Back in. Wait, are we? Is it? Hold on. Back in the day, I can still see him. This is why I still believe in wired mice. Mm -hmm. Where is? Oh shit, son. This is why I believe in good batteries. <laughs> You're perfectly fine, batteries. Well, we all know Sork. We all know Sork's a fan of the D batteries. Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, that is a <laughs> well. While we're waiting for him, we can we can get into a little bit of this yeah, other stuff. Ahead. We'll we'll go back to you. That's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, do that. <laughs> uh, I gotta find my did we tell about talk about Shelly Martinez here on this show? Oh no, please uh, no. Sweet, do we have to? Shelly Martinez. I wasn't going to, but somebody put it in the rundown. Uh, so I sure did. Uh, she all right, has, we're good to go. What, um, what's going on with Shelly? Well, as we, as we all know, Shelly Martinez is trying desperately to claw at the fleeting ghost of fame <laughs> that once visited her life. <laughs> <laughs> and she's doing that by trying to get on Dancing with the Stars. So uh, we'll drop the link in the chat. There yeah, is a Facebook. <laughs> Help oh, Shelly Martinez on Dancing with the Stars. Okay, I have two points to this. One, you go to the Facebook page, and it's like, she hasn't even reached 300 people yet. <laughs> two. She has 157, that's it. Oh, she hasn't even reached 200. Okay, well. But two, I discussed this with Lunchbox when I was up in the burg, and we agree that we need to create a Facebook group to put Shelly Martinez in an insane asylum. <laughs> no, uh, all right, I, I, I'll I'll speak to this. The, the The show is called Dancing with the Stars, correct? Mm -hmm. But it really is Dancing it, with the B movie. Speaking of I was, Wozniak <laughs> was on the show. Okay, on who knows who he is that doesn't have one of these iPhone? But Sork, a lot of people have those. Yes, exactly. Look, <laughs> more people have those than watched any of ECW when she was Ariel and. A fuck ton more than watch TNA. She was <laughs> she Salinas. Was Salinas. Yeah. I mean, first of all, in the in the video, she's not even dancing. Which yeah, she's I mean, dancing like on a ball, ball. Like chilling on a yoga ball. Yeah, she's not even dancing. Which, if she actually showed that maybe she had some dancing ability in the video, I could sign off on it. But no, she's just making her boobs bounce. Which I mean, honest, she could do that walking. And she's not a star. She she's does, not even she like. Does walking. Yes, exactly. Like, like she's not even a B level star. She's not even a C level star. Kathy Griffin is a bigger star, and Kathy Griffin is proud of being on the D list. I think Shelly Martinez is on like the double D list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Get come it? on, oh, Shelly. Get on a reality show called World's Largest Tits or something. I don't know. <laughs> Sir, that, that would be the. Like, that would be the greatest <laughs> reality show of all time. Why? Because men don't have tits. Hey, <laughs> you hey have you, speak for, your, speak have for yourself. Have you seen the American <laughs> balloon? I'm rocking a bee cup here. No, have you seen the American balloon? Look him up. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> Wheels. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I got a picture of that. I was just looking at it the other day with him putting his tit right in my face. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to be fair, you are at eye level for his tits. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Like the blue there. Wow, this is the this is the best idea we've ever had. Um, this is awesome. <laughs> all right, enough about that. Let's let's talk about other. Do you want enough to about Shelly Martinez? If you want us to support you, give us free membership to your website. That is all. Wait, or she has a, a, whoa, whoa, she has a membership the website. We the show. She has a <laughs> She has a membership website. Sorg, we've discussed this. Did we? And I thought we were talking about Daphne has one. <laughs> no, oh, no, on. no. Daphne, we openly support everything. In fact, put Daphne on Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Shelly Martinez. Go. I think she could car cut a rug. She's light on her feet. Daphne in her yeah, little hats. She is zombie hot. Zombie little hat. Hot indeed. 
Uh, and then we'll see on Dancing with the Stars, AJ Styles. I yes. view her like a spider monkey. AJ Styles? <laughs> oh, I, I think he's a victim of Skype lag. Though. Oh, delay. Oh, thank you, Internet, for bringing us that. You know who I want to see? AJ Styles. I do her like a spider monkey. <laughs> uh, T-shirt. T-shirt. Uh, wow. Shelly like Martinez in a bubble bath. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyways, what? news. Uh, LB, why don't you go over your MMA while I look at Shelly's website? Hey. You got it. There's not um, much unless you pay, Sork. I'm well, Lesnar, Lesnar did indeed uh, defeat... Wait, when was this? Did we talk about this already? Did we Sorry, talk no, we talked week? about it earlier. Oh, yeah. No, we, we talked about it like five seconds. Of, yeah, like okay. this before the music break. Alright, shit's confusing to me. Um, Brock Lesnar did defeat Shane Carwin. Uh, it was an actual interesting match as opposed to uh, Brock's other matches. It went to the second round. Uh, Shane really uh, just beat the shit out of Brock at first uh, and Lesnar got a second round submission in uh, what was an excellent fight um, and uh, really the only other uh, fight of note on UFC 116 was uh, Stefan Bonner versus uh, Christoph Szczynski. Uh they had a controversial fight uh, a little ways back and it uh, the uh, the ref ended the fight basically gave it to Szczynski Everyone felt it should have been a draw, or Bonner should have got it. Nevertheless, he got his uh, he got his uh, swagger back, so to speak, because he was on a hell of a losing streak. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Stefan Bonner was the uh, co-winner or runner-up, I should say, of the first Tough Enough, and uh, his fight with Forrest Griffin is considered completely legendary. Won him a contract that was so good, uh, and he said, uh, "quote uh, getting or uh, breaking my losing streak was better than sex." So, uh, wow. And uh, estimated uh, purses from UFC 116. Brock Lesnar walked away with four hundred thousand dollars. Because you know why? Why not? Why? Why the fuck not? Um, the only person who comes close to him was uh, Chris Lieben, who won against uh, Yoshihiro Akiyama, and he walked away with 86000 so that should give you a little indication of how much faith Dana has in Brock Lesnar. Brock's opponent, Shane Carwin, a uh, beast in his own right, only walked away with $40,000. Um, and uh, Brock did not get a win bonus. Lieben, Lytle, and Bonner did, uh, as well as everyone else who won, it looks. Uh, Brock didn't get one, probably because he was getting paid 400 thousand fucking dollars Probably and because uh, Brock doesn't need it <laughs> it was uh it was reported earlier that brock was getting paid that much money whether he won or lost so uh congratulations yeah, what, brock from, yeah from what i saw there was no purses or whatever added to that and this no. just further adds brock is never coming back to the beach oh god right. <laughs> no for a one night why would he that, geez there's no way he made close to that so. <laughs> Not for one night. Um, <laughs> and uh, the other UFC news is uh, Nate Diaz, the controversial Nate Diaz, has signed a new four-fight deal to stay with UFC. He'll be fighting on the next... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. The next pay-per-view he will be fighting on is UFC 118 against Marcus Davis, uh, August 28th from the TD Garden in Boston. Uh, that'll also feature... That will also feature that uh, Randy Couture versus James Tony and uh, Frankie Edgar versus BJ Penn for the lightweight title, a fight that a lot of people, including myself, are looking forward to. And uh, that's the MMA news for today. Excellent. Um, well, in the wrestling news, we've got a few items here. I see LB uh, hits up all the things that I pass on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, WWE announced their first ever show in China. It will take place August 22nd. Uh, da, 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 da. So uh, I know they were, they've been making a big push for several years uh, to get into the China market. I know they, well, we had a story uh, probably a year or two ago here on this show uh, about how uh, they assigned a, a new president of operations over there a few years ago. Uh, yeah. So, and before people ask, no, the show will not be called One Night in China. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, I feel like we did this joke before. Well, Probably. Yeah, I'm, I'm it's sure still we good. There were so many jokes we could have made. That's true. Yeah, I mean, my, my man in really... was going into China. And... Oh, <laughs> I gotcha. Um, and other, other items here. Let's see. 
Florence Henderson will, in fact, be hosting Raw. Uh, despite no... There was no <coughs> guest host last night. I just realized that. <laughs> they, they haven't done it for... Um, I think... I, I read a report saying that they don't feel they need to do guest hosts every week. Okay, so there's now one. They're just kind of lightening it because well we had Rob Zombie last week, so yeah for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like he was hardly there, so with no impact whatsoever. It was just like, all right, um, all right. Florence Henderson, Drew McIntyre is back, and of course we saw um, Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett, thank you. Wade, Wade Barrett's Wade back. Barrett. Wade Barrett. Um, Wade Barrett. <laughs> And of course, he's British. Don't mock him. We have the obligatory new F, uh, issue of WWE Magazine with the return of Triple H because we get that every other year. Um, <laughs> we get that for every time, like Rey Mysterio leaves, and every time you know John Cena leaves for injury. It's just he too. Come on now. You oh, know this. okay. We're back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Sorry about that little bit of a delay for your live folks. There, it's okay. We're around. <laughs> See the way I look at it? If he laughs, I'm perfectly okay to say it. <laughs> you're not, you're not, we're not back live. We're not, we're, the video's not we're back. Not we're not, no, no, the they're not there, but we're recording, we're good. That's fine. That's, oh my god. Somebody take the next news item, please. <laughs> next news item. Well, there was a spook that ran past... Russell fan just a little bit oh, ago. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. I want to point out. Too, starring Russell I want to point out for the audio <laughs> listeners. Oh, shit. I forgot. Lyoto Machida's coming back at the end. Oh. Machida. <laughs> All right. Like um, some... <sighs> in, in, other truth, in other truths about hating on the black man, our truth has been pulled from the money in the bank match. <laughs> Darn. Oh, Another well. Another shitty wrestler taken <laughs> out. <laughs> no, actually, I heard it was because of his legit groin pull. But the angle they shot on last night with Miz was awesome. Who did he yeah. pull it on? Did, did he pull his groin from all the dancing he does? Because have you seen, like, <laughs> he does that one move where he, like, sort of. Uh, I could see where he would have pulled his groin. Yeah, that split thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. I'm surprised Probably. it didn't happen earlier. Ooh, did he pull it? Did he pull it? Did he pull it on a little kid like R. Kelly? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and that's the truth. <laughs> the whole truth and nothing but the truth. <laughs> oh, that's what's up. See, Mike, aren't you glad I'm on the show? <laughs> <laughs> In TNA news, <laughs> TNA, we were something. Douglas Williams in, in and TNA news at Hot Wheels laugh. Douglas Williams and Magnus have signed long-term contracts. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> why? TNA, why would the they not on contracts? Why would Magnus not? Like sign a contract when he hasn't been used on TV in three and a half months. <laughs> to make sure he, he, is, can continue he has been used on explosion. To make sure that he's on TV, he, Wrestle fans. He's 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 on TV. Even people on superstars get on TV. Mm. Explosion does not get on TV in this country. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Lunchbox wow. is so interesting, this Another story. interesting stuff. Did you guys hear about Ricky Steamboat? Apparently, oh, yeah. he seriously got hurt. Uh, like uh, I think he went to the house. I, I, I it wasn't, it wasn't I because story. It wasn't because of the WWE angle. It wasn't because of the beating he took from okay. Nexus. It but was, he, he he's, doing yeah. he's doing a lot better now. He's doing a lot better now. I think that's the only reason they mentioned it last night on Raw, because he was doing a lot better. Okay. Because they had pulled the footage earlier in the week when um, he yeah. actually went to the hospital. When they yeah. were doing the recaps, you mean? Yeah. Right. It was. Hold on. It's here. We have it. Hold up. What, was it, it a brain there. aneurysm? There it is. No, they thought it was an aneurysm. Um, That's not helpful. That just says he's getting better. <laughs> <laughs> we have like three links to this story in our... Uh... <laughs> he's getting better. That's not good at all. I think. Let's see here. Damn it. 
it no was believed to be in brain aneurysm, but that's that was all the information we had about. It. Mm. So a non-fatal aneurysm. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Yeah. Well, at least it wasn't. Peacock dreams. Peacock dreams. Peacock dreams. Speaking of aneurysms. TNA. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> did anybody else notice that? Uh, Darren Young did not put his hand up to get hit with that step, and it dented. <laughs> oh, gee, I missed that. <laughs> I did not notice no that kidding. at all. I didn't see that. I'm like, going to be rewatching Raw. Yeah, I was yeah, like, holy yeah. shit, he did not put his hand up. <laughs> so don't be surprised if you don't see him next week. <laughs> well, that I think that might have been the whole, because Cena like, kept saying six against one after that, so Darren Young <laughs> might not be in the match. <laughs> Or sucks, I like, anymore. That would be great if he was just trying to take him out. And uh, well, on, on that note, let's let's talk about Raw while we're on that. Uh, so our new GM is obviously Shark Boy. Austin. Oh, it's clearly <laughs> Steve Austin. Yes, because Steve Austin would say, "I just wanted peace." You shut up! You shut up! It's Steve Austin. He's gonna come back. And it's gonna be just as good. It's gonna be just as good as it used to be. Just as gonna be like the attitude there. It's gonna be great. And 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 Triple H is gonna come back. He's gonna be a biker. Then Undertaker's gonna come back. <laughs> the kidnap Stephanie is gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. It's wait, be just like the wait, 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 Triple H oh, is gonna be a biker, <laughs> and Undertaker's gonna kidnap Stephanie. I think you need to reverse those two. <laughs> no, that's how they oh, mix wait, it up. Both those both happened. Things. They both did it. <laughs> yeah, they both did See, both of those things. They're changeable. It's a switch through. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so wait. Triple H married Michelle McCool over the weekend then? <laughs> they're not interchangeable on everything. I had to, just, seeing, just seeing the pictures from, I think it was TMZ, that had to have been the scariest effing wedding ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do We do have the link up on up on the delicious of uh, uh, the first photo from Undertaker and Michelle McCool's wedding. It's, uh, wow. That's third one. Oh, yeah, you can one. tell it's the Undertaker. Third one for the big guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Taker. What's the second one for her, isn't it? She got kids. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I think so. That bitch got kids. <laughs> <laughs> and twins. <laughs> Uh, Speaking of twins, how's your mom, Russell Pan? Oh, oh, oh okay, I get it. Never mind. All right, the obligatory guest bash on uh, uh, Russell Pan. We did lose your video again, just so you're aware. Um, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, so Bret Hart responds to Martha Hart's uh, lawsuit. So, so I feel it's ridiculous for anyone to think they are serving the best interests of Owen's memory or his children to pretend he wasn't a wrestler. Uh, not only was he a wrestler, he was a great one and proud of it. I personally believe Martha Hart has done nothing to keep his memory alive, and sadly, he fades from view a little more every year. Wow. So, yeah. so there was a little bit of a family tiff going on there with the in-laws. So, um, can, can I just say, last week at work, I got to watch some of the build-up between Brett and Owen for SummerSlam and WrestleMania, mm -hmm. and I forgot how amazing Owen Hart was. Oh my god. He was so fucking awesome. And I actually give Bret Hart huge props for this, and I don't do that very often for Bret Hart. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is very, very true. Very, very true. So, excellent. Um, actually, uh, does anybody else have the delicious up? I'm having a little bit of trouble here. I have it up, Sorgelstein. Thank you. Please uh, carry on to the next. Carrying on my wayward son. <laughs> um, that was in my head, too. Alright, I need to... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Phil! 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 I was on the wrong Phil. page. Phil! Phil! Duck. Phil Duck. Bluffed up. <laughs> uh, Brian Danielson blogs about his WWE release. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, basically, it's <laughs> he says he's very angry, and he <laughs> says that um, he's heard TNA is interested, and he's also seen their petitions to get him back into WWE. I think, and that I think people he's will be had chanting the, his name. He's had the response about him going to TNA. So yeah, yeah, especially from that Cleveland show I went to. 
After seeing what TNA has done with uh, Nigel McGuinness, mm-hmm. I think Brian made the right choice, regardless yep. of what happened to him. Yep. Or, oh, Lord Boner. Lord Boner. Uh, <laughs> that's going to stick with him now, you know. I mean, that's going to be like some uh, some indie fable about how he's Lord Boner. <laughs> I fully intend to scream it the next time I see him at a show. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, and in other news, CM Punk out of action after undergoing uh, arm surgery. Uh, of course, you all saw him on SmackDown sporting the uh, the sling on, for his arm. And uh says he's uh, due to be out of action for four to eight weeks. That sucks. That yeah. sucks. Especially with Mysterio as champion. I mean, we, we, we all kind of expected them to do something cool there. And he, I don't think we'll even meet, meet uh, SummerSlam at that, that rate. So Yeah. They'll probably unless he rushes himself back in. Yeah, yeah, unless he does like serious like. Unless he starts taking pain pills. So. Especially with the uh, Money in the Bank pay per view, because Punk's cashed it in twice already. So oh, well, he could have he could have really been a fan favorite in there. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely, he could have been like the edge of that, you know. Um, yeah. And then now that they're doing the stuff with the whole uh, straight edge society, like on SmackDown when they had a. Uh, Serena break her habit or whatever, and uh, mm-hmm. Punk was yelling at her. I mean, now, uh, I mean, obviously, now we don't know how far that storyline's gonna go now. Mm-hmm. And of course, TNA has a pay per view this weekend, <laughs> which I'll be perfectly honest with you doesn't mm. look too bad, dude. There's I, like one or two matches that I'm like, really, I'm but sorry, it doesn't I, look too bad. I got through TNA, I sat through it, I think, the week before. I'm enjoying it. I mean, it, it, it's it's good to sit down and watch. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's it's wrestling. I mean, I, I don't mean, know what mm-hmm. the hell people were expecting, but TNA. I, mean, I stated this earlier. Uh, oh, Whoa. Whoa. Sorry. They'll, they'll have one. TNA. Of, they... TNA is as cohesive and watchable as they were when I first really got into them uh, several years ago when Raven was the champion. Okay. Yeah. But, I mean, that's. Sword, can I ask? Can I ask you a question about hmm. TNA? What's up? When you first started watching TNA, mm-hmm. could did you ever envision a time where AJ Styles versus Samoa Joe would be a bullshit means nothing mid match? But they've met, but they've met, met how many times? Match, they've met just, how many? What exactly times? did it do? I would wish it for it to be longer. Well, it's it was obviously they're building more for Samoa Joe's getting more of a winning streak now. Yeah, and it's not obvious to you. Yeah, and they he, really haven't Samoa done... Joe has not been on pay-per-view since he's I been agree, back. I agree with you, Mike, and they really haven't done anything with the whole who kidnapped him, whatever bullshit. But they're doing... They're, they're continuing it with this whole AJ Styles, you know, kind of disappointing Ric Flair thing, and... Obviously, if it was AJ Styles versus anyone else, it would be different. We've seen matches between AJ Styles and Samoa Joe, and they've been phenomenal. Mm-hmm. It was just the fact that, you know, he could have wrestled... It should. It could have been AJ Styles versus Rob Terry with the same outcome, you know. And you know what I mean. It, just because it was AJ and Joe, and they've had these great matches in the past, doesn't mean you know. I would have loved to it for it to have been a twenty thirty minute you know great match, but you know. Yeah, but WrestleFan, the the length and quality of match is not what I'm talking about because it's going to be a good match regardless of how long it is because those guys are good wrestlers, but. The fact that it means absolutely nothing. Like, it's just a match that they threw together on a card. Wait, 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 wait. Let's, let's take it back. And this is, I think this is my problem with, with people that are all bashing the TNA. People, people talk about, you know, does it mean anything? Does it, the, you know, the, the point is, does the, did you sit back and watch the match and did you enjoy watching it? You know? Yeah. And did you enjoy watching it for free on a Thursday night as opposed to having to pay 40 bucks for it? You know? You and that's what the it same was. thing for and, like two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hernandez and Samoa Joe. Did that really mean anything? You know, no, no. It's a placeholder match. I mean, remember back but it was in the still day. A great match. Back in the mm-hmm. day, we would have prime time wrestling. We would have uh, Saturday night's main event. We would have these matches with people that didn't really have a feud with each other. Didn't really have any purpose other than to just be there. Uh, you know, if you buy, like, I, I'm looking through my old world, world tour, you know, tapes. You know, there's no purpose to any of these matches. They're basically house show matches. But you know, sword, it, yes. The only difference is. Because trust me, I be, I I know where you're coming from, and I see I hear exactly what you're saying with regards to that. But back in those days, pay per views 
were months apart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Months apart. You didn't have to have a storyline for everyone. Paper, you now have weekly exposure every week to do a storyline. Mm-hmm. It seems the only reason they had AJ versus Joe was so AJ could tap so, out to someone so, and then Kazarian can make fun of him. They right. could have put Brian Kendrick in there. They could have mm-hmm. had Kendrick made AJ Styles tap. Which then it advances both storylines because Brian Kendrick is putting over his submission style. Yeah. I um, two, th- two things I want to make from that. One, also watching from Impact, I don't understand how they've shit so much on Desmond Wolf where he's losing to X Division stars. Mm-hmm. Like, Brian, not to say anything bad about Brian Kendrick. If we saw Brian Kendrick versus Nigel McGuinness on the indie scene, it would be a great match. Mm-hmm. Even. But Brian Kendrick is an X Division star. Nigel McGuinness, Desmond Wolf, is supposed to be. You know, one of the, the he's number mid-card. nine on their heavyweight. He's number yeah. nine on their heavyweight list. And he's losing to Brian Kendrick. I don't get that. Two, I agree with you, Mad Mike. I wish that TNA would instead of doing a pay per view every month, I would love for them to do like a pay per view every two months, like have six pay per views a year. And I you know, it would it. just give it would give more time for those matches like you were talking about that don't really mean anything. And it would bring more built to storylines, I think. Mm-hmm. And I think we're all looking forward to that. You know, if, if rumors are true and they're they're going that direction, right? I don't think they are, though. But <laughs> well, no, come because... on, look who's in the company: Hogan and Bischoff. <laughs> well, yeah, Bischoff was the guy who, like in his book, said, "You know, if I can get them to buy four pay per views, I can get them to buy six, and then I get them to buy eight, I can get them to buy twelve. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and then that limit's been pushed, and I don't think there's any room for anybody to jump on like that. With yeah, guys. it'd be it'd be better. That'd be beneficial not just for TNA but also for WWE. I think. Exactly. Exactly. I think, it, it, and I, I think we're seeing a thing. I I I think the the even the ad revenue uh, model for WWE for Monday Night Raw changed in recent years. Now they have more of a guaranteed contract. I, I, I'm pretty sure WWE gets for the most part paid either way uh, for their shows, like like Raw. Because I remember they used to handle and have a part of the advertising. Now it's different. Um, yeah. And, you know, of course, we talk about the advertising and want to be PG. Of course, they have other advertising venues such as, you know, uh, print and, and Internet and everything. So, you know, that that's, you know, that that's that side of that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I, I, WWE, uh, they maximize, you know, their profits. They're still making a profit despite the lower numbers and pay-per-views. They'd love it to still be that high, but it, you know the way that they're doing it. There, it's so many more markets now. They're selling right. so many DVDs when they do one of those shows. It's it's not making a dent as far as they're concerned. They've already scaled yeah. back a little bit. I think they saw they felt the pinch when they saw the, the disasters that were uh, uh, December to dismember and, uh, <laughs> and, and 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 all that stuff. I mean, it was it, it was. Yeah, they they know. Like I remember, know I remember going. when they had like exclusive pay per views for each brand, mm-hmm. and like it would just be like matches that nobody would care about. Exactly, exactly. They're trying to fill it out and stretch themselves too thin. They tried it; it didn't work. You're seeing them change. You're seeing them adjust to it. It's slower, but they're a bigger company. They're not going to make fast changes like this. After yeah. this year, after they don't maybe, need to. After maybe two years, if these gimmick pay per views don't look like they're working. Uh, then there, you're going to see a change, and you're going to start seeing them cut. I, I, I believe it. I mean, uh, that I recall, I think there was only one month this year that has two pay-per-views in it, and that's, uh, I want to say October, around where the bragging rights kind yeah, of stuff is. October has yeah. bragging rights. And, and, and they um, already pulled out. They're, they're not bringing back uh, breaking, uh, breaking, breaking, point. breaking Point. They replaced yeah. that with uh, Night of Champions. Yeah, they, well, they moved Night of Champions over, and they put, of course, we have Fatal... Uh, no, we had Fatal Four Way. I can't even keep them straight anymore. Yeah, you know, remember we used to. I think these it's things? I think it's bragging rights and Hell in a Cell in October. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, Hell in a Cell. Hell in a cell. Yeah, yeah, I got the calendar. Bragging rights and Hell in a Cell in October. There you go. And they're still keeping Survivor Series, right? Good. Uh, from what I heard, they are. Yes. So they yes, might. Sur- although Survivor they might, Series tickets are on sale. You never know. They could have pulled a thing that they started selling as Survivor Series, like they did Cyber Sunday here in Pittsburgh. Eventually changed it to well, actually they changed it to Annihilation and then Bragging Rights. <laughs> They changed it to like three different names for you guys. Although I was thinking, I know it's not going to go this long, but uh, last night uh, when they were having the big fights uh, with the Nexus and everybody, it was like, wouldn't it be cool to have a bragging rights match, but with the Nexus? Yeah, instead of. But 
And that would be better when if they bring in the season two NXT guys to yeah, join yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe they have like a secondary one. Like they have the SmackDown versus Raw. Then we have. And then we can have dream match. Like if, mm-hmm. if like say Danielson does come back, we have a dream match with like him against uh, Caval. Mm-hmm. Yeah, him and Caval and someone like, That'd and then fantastic. have that big bragging rights match at the end. You know. You know, what I think it'll be really fun if. If Danielson comes back, he leads the NXT two rookies against the Nexus. I guess the NXT one, yeah. Right. That, I think that would be really interesting. Real quick, guys, we're running late. We're gonna have to do a lot of cleanup of this. Uh, I want to, <laughs> I want to, I want to run down the card. We talked about it, but uh, just give me uh, quick thoughts on it, guys. Quick thoughts. Uh, main events: Mr. Anderson, Hardy, uh, Kennedy, Kennedy, and wait, Anderson, RVD, Hardy, Abyss. For the heavyweight title, your thoughts? Uh, either it's definitely I'm leaning more towards RBD. I could see Abyss getting it, mm-hmm. but I think it'd be way too soon. Okay, uh, this what I was. This is what I what I tweeted earlier this week. I see Abyss winning it, or RVD winning it by um by like taking out Abyss somehow, and then Abyss eventually getting the title and losing it to Hogan. Oh. Uh, Unfortunately, no. I, I, I see that in my crystal ball, and it made me no. because Are you I, sure that was I can crystal see, ball, not Hogan's head. Yes, <laughs> I, I I can see I can see the people that Abyss is saying is coming to TNA, being the ECW originals, and they recruit Abyss because they feel RVD has gotten soft. Abyss takes out RVD, That's takes a good- the title, and then Hogan has to be the conquering hero. And wins the belt. That's the thing I just realized from what you just mentioned. RBD is a TCW original, so That's yes, right. he is. That's right. Um, hey, there you go. Anderson. Uh, Anderson. 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 Anderson has a kick-ass new T-shirt. <laughs> What's on, the new one? Uh, TNAWrestling.com. What is Does it? it? Say the word asshole on it. No, but it has a donkey with a uh, hole. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> All <laughs> right, moving on, and this is maybe Arn Anderson should wear it. I love <laughs> TNA's I love TNA's ranking system and it's giving a reason for good matches to happen. You know? Yeah. It's giving a reason for that. good Kurt Angle matches to happen. Uh, still. Other than that, still, it's a piece of shit. And, and no, no, I do not agree <laughs> with you. I think it's a fantastic idea. It's bringing meaning to the ranking other than the top four people, okay? Um, yeah, and it, it makes it's better than it's like TNA's just voting on yeah, things. Yeah, exactly. But the fact that the matches that the wrestlers have it's actually like, play into the ranking. Hopefully no longer you Ow. get, you know, like, oh, you know, back when Jeff Jarrett would, would, uh, would you know, be fighting for the title every, you know, well, Batista, when he was in a title match the entire year, whether he had the title or not, and sometimes have three chances, you're not going to have this crap here, at least yeah. without a reason. Hey. Without a reason, okay? Other than he's bitching mm-hmm. about it. But you're going to have the Pope versus Kurt Angle. Looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, 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 Obviously, I think it's going to lean towards Angle's Angle. Been, Angle's been Pope's, doing some good Pope's matches lately. so much out of this match. Uh, I'm actually surprisingly happy about this. Ric Flair versus Jay Lethal. That's going to be really entertaining. That, that's going to that be awesome. Be entertaining. Be I'm looking really forward to that. I hope Lethal beats him with the figure four. I think it'd be the best way, right? Um, yeah. Morgan versus. I hope Lethal actually becomes the first member of Fortune from this. There you go. There you go. Uh, Kendrick versus Williams for the X Division Championship, I believe. In an Ultimate X slash uh, submission yeah, match. Yeah, that's, match. Okay. that's the match I kind of like. Wait, really. Wait. Uh, yeah, that's where it's kind of getting. Back? They haven't done this for a while. You got to give them credit. They haven't done this for a while with an over, uh, an overruled match. But yeah, yeah, you know, there it is. You know what's going to happen? What's mm. going to happen is there's going to be a submission attempt while someone is on the X trying to grab the belt. Fantastic! <laughs> knock out while they pull the belt down. Yep, that's Fantastic. exactly what's going to be it. Guys, guys, uh, Petey yes. Williams is back. When did that happen? Wait, what? <laughs> Williams. We said Doug Williams. Doug Williams. Oh, Doug Williams. Who the fuck is <laughs> Doug No, <laughs> Douglas Williams. Sorry, Douglas. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank Who you. No one can use their indie wrestling names anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Morgan versus Hernandez in the steel cage match. I, that would be fun. Both guys. It'll be, it'll be good for what it is and everything. Hernandez. Uh, beer money and motor city machine guns. Finally. <laughs> but Should I don't care. Beer money. There you go. Either way, I don't care. Like, It'll go whether it's beer money or machine guns. I'll be happy. 
I'd rather yeah, see the machine guns win the knockouts tag titles. There you go. <laughs> Angelina Love and Taylor Ring. Wait, Madison Ring. Yeah. I'm going to say Madison. Matches. Madison. Way, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I mean, I meant Angelina. Sorry. I, I like but, the build-up. Either the storyline's being... Uh, they, no, they, they're going to say it next week on Impact. But it's going to be another retirement match. Oh. Of course it is. So I don't think Angelina is going to lose, or wait, she'll, wait, or she'll Sunday, win by right? DQ or wait, something. Wait. Oh yeah, we do have one more impact. It always throws me off because they're not on Monday anymore. <laughs> my not head on says, Monday. My heart says Maddie, but my head says Angelina. Mm, what is your other? I think Angelina say? will win. Oh right. Either. Anyways, my other aspect says Velvet. Clearly, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I think it's Anyone time. Like the... It's and time. with DNA, that's not outside the realistic possibilities. It's time to learn DJ Lunchbox. Yo. Who's been just a fuzz for the last 15 minutes. What have you <laughs> learned from wrestling this week? I'm a fuzz? What? Yeah, your, your <laughs> camera's been all crazy. Oh, no. It's, You're moving it's too flat, fast, Flash. What'd you learn from wrestling this week? I learned. What did I learn? Shit. God, I didn't even think about it. Are you up for a crash? Now again? I'm just now I'm just mumbling things to Phil. <laughs> Phil. Uh, Phil. Uh, I learned the. Uh, oh uh, no, that's not. That's not no. Oh. No. Look at that that porn magazine, like. Son of a bitch. This is a WWE magazine. Thank you. Listen to, and what page are you on? I'm trying to pick a fact that I learned because I learned a lot from this magazine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's what I learned. What's that? What's what's the new chick's name on NXT? Um, oh, uh, oh my God, Jamie I don't know. Keys. But holy shit, is uh, she hot? Jamie Keys is psychotically hot. Oh I hope my she God. stays around forever. Who's the one that shit on her? <laughs> I looked at her pictures like, today. I again, I haven't seen much of NXT, but there was a there was some post about it. And I look, I looked up or I checked out her pictures on WWE.com. Wow, it's Dude. like that's what Chelsea's pictures on TNA wow. would have looked like if she didn't have such a funky head. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about that one week, right? She's a, she's a new how, host, her, right? how it looks like her head is like like pasted on on those so pictures. Why the fuck are you looking at her head? <laughs> I'm a I'm a face guy. I'm a face guy. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'd have her on my face. There's a different. Mad Mike, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Speaking of, <laughs> what did I learn? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I learned that in the history of the WWE, there have been only two wrestlers that have ha that have had their names start with X. That is Santa Claus and X Pac. Wow. Oh. Wow. Huh. Yes. All right. Uh, Russell fan, what have you learned this week? I learned when I go on vacation, I miss a lot of wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> but I also I also learned that I'm loving the whole Nexus uh, angle. Uh, it's going great so far. It should. I'm looking forward to see what comes from it. That's what she said. All right. Wheels, mm -hmm. what did you learn from wrestling this week? What did I learn from wrestling this week? I learned that even though TNA is on Sunday, I'll be working a better show. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. To be fair, I'll be working a better show, and I'm not even working a show. <laughs> <laughs> Sorgatron, uh, they, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Oh, uh, I learned. Shit, I was going to read these other ones. I hope something came to me. Um, <laughs> I learned something is seriously wrong with the technology in WWE uh, since when they get an email, the light house lights go. Yeah, I, was, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, oh, I think that was wait, just Nash trying to pay their Hold electricity on, guys. bill. I'm That's worse than the electrified cage match where they I'm had the getting, lights going off. I'm getting the, uh, an email. Hold on, again. Uh, hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I learned. Uh, from the chat room, Big Triple T says, I learned smarts will never stop watching wrestling. They hate. That is absolutely <laughs> accurate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm reading through the rest of this. I haven't caught up. Uh, Sorg, I've been monitoring the chat room. I got your back. All right. Is there anybody else that. that and your front, anything? too. All right. Oh, oh. I leave that for the intern. <laughs> so, I don't know what happened to the intern tonight, so I, I have no idea. Anyways, uh, well, on that note, guys, well, first, Wheels, uh, thank you for joining us tonight. 
Hey, it was a, it was great to have, be on the show, and I appreciate it, there, Sorgatron. All right, uh, what what will you what do you want to put out there for uh, anywhere uh, people want to want to chat with you, or uh, or maybe something else you may be working. Oh, uh, let's see. Well, you can catch me at on MySpace, mm-hmm. and of course, let's see if my brain's remembering my, MySpace name. It is Hot Wheels, of course, with the Z. <laughs> And it's not hard to find me. Just look for this pretty face. But if you can't see me, just look for Hot Wheels with a Z. <laughs> um, you can catch me on Facebook with Aaron West, just like Mad Mike found me. <laughs> and where I'm, what I'm doing, I also do sound. So Sorgatron knows what's fun to do sound. Uh, for RWA Wrestling this Sunday, doing a benefit show for the Allenport Fire Department. That show starts at 5, and you can catch up with all that at rwalive.com. And I do believe there are, uh, if I if I remember I was looking at it today, uh, friends of the show, SJK, are going to be there. Brian, Ryan Mitchell, uh, Jason Gorey, uh, CJ Sensation. Uh, so there's, there's a bunch of good guys on there. It's, it's, it's out there. It's a drive if you're in Pittsburgh. Uh, if you yeah, find it, that it's out. not bad. <laughs> We're also going to have our first ever women's tag team match of Morgan Rockefeller and Brittany Forrest versus Angel Dust and Sassy Stuff. So that should be very entertaining. Cool. So, I'll take pictures for Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Why was I singled out? We all like tits here. Well, well he's not wrong. Maybe. He's not wrong. So, <laughs> all right, guys. And of course, uh, I don't know. You got any, any of the rest of you guys have anything to plug? Uh, Twitter's, Facebook's. Um... <laughs> We're everywhere. <laughs> Don't yes. say what. Say where. At, at <laughs> DJ Lunchbox on Twitter. You can also check me out over at ThoughtfulRiot.com and uh, the forthcoming 8BitRiot.com. Fantastic. At MadMike4883, where I tell you the joys that could be Lego Schindler's List. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, you can Holy find shit. me, as always. <laughs> all these shows are SorgatronMedia.com, uh, Sorgatron.com, where I tell you why I hate The Last Airbender. Um, and, uh, and some other stuff going on there. I've, I've had a few posts uh, lately. Lately. Um, and please check out the awesome cast. We had some fun. Chachi joined us again this week as an emergency thing again with technical problems like we've been having all night. I uh, apologize if, if, if you did have the por- early portion of this show. It was probably the midsections in lo-fi uh, off of our Ustream. If it worked out like last time. But you know that by now. Um, but thank you, everybody. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you. Uh, we'll see you guys next week here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We are working on some interviews. Hopefully, we'll have some special guests. And maybe you'll be a special guest next week. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We'll see you. Thank you for listening to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Please subscribe to our iTunes streams and blog at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Email us at GoodTimes at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or call us with any comments at 412-206-WMS0. We love to hear from our fans, and who knows, maybe you'll make it onto the show. The Wrestling Mayhem Show was recorded live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in front of a live internet audience and is a production of Sorgatron Media. You can be part of the show as we record live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern on TalkShoe.com and Eastern.tv.